This is calculator question number 10 from the March 2019 SAT. If you've not already answered this question, pause the video for a minute while you find your solution and then come back to see how I approach this. College Board gives us a cubic polynomial in factored form and asks which of the following is not an x-intercept. X-intercepts are also zeros or solutions, different names for roughly the same thing. Notice that they, under, they use bold for not. I'm sorry, they use up all uppercase for not. They'll often underline or use uppercase to draw attention to a word that is frequently missed or misread leading to the wrong answer. The x-intercepts or zeros are the points where the y value of the function is zero. So if I write x plus 4, x minus 1, 2x minus 3, equals 0. I can graph that on my calculator and see the zeros. On my calculator, the graph looks something like this, with zeros at negative 4, positive 1, and positive 1.5, which is positive 3 halves. So these three are, oh dear. I miscopied the question. This is supposed to be a negative. Sorry about that. These three are all zeros. This one is not a zero. And their question is, which is not an x-intercept, which is a point where the graph intersects the x-axis. So the one that is not an intercept would be choice B. Always read these questions carefully. It's fairly common, particularly for good mathematicians, to look at the function, read x-intercept, and say, aha, choice A is an x-intercept, and they never read carefully enough to catch the error. That's often a sign that you have spent 10 years answering the question that you expect your math teacher to ask, and now it's SAT, and they know you're doing that, so they're phrasing the question to make sure that you read carefully because that is what college professors want you to do, so they really do have a reason for testing your reading. The point that's not an x-intercept is the one where the graph does not intersect the x-axis. It's also the one where if you put this value in for x, you don't get zero. So if you substitute negative 4 in for x, you get zero times whatever is zero. If you substitute in 1 for x, the second term is zero, and zero times anything is zero. If you substitute 3 halves for x, the third term is twice 3 halves is 3, minus 3 is 0, multiply that by anything and you get 0. So choices A, C, and D give you 0 for all x. I'll post a link in the description to a playlist of videos on the same topic once I have that playlist. Come back soon for my next math video with math there's always more.